Quakers have always had this concern about peace going back hundreds of years and in the 20th century they started to realize well one way to bring about a more peaceful world is through education so projects started cropping up uh, around the world and around Britain where people were trained in conflict resolution. A number of years ago now, uh, possibly 10 years, um, a member of staff heard about peer mediation, heard about the role that Crest had, came excitedly into school, spoke to me about it, and we investigated it and thought, this sounds really positive. Peer mediation is where we have a group of our five, six children um, who are all trained um, to be able to think about, consider and support other children in resolving their conflicts. So we've been running the scheme for many, many years now. We've seen a lot of success with the scheme over the years. And every year I'm surprised by how many children we get applying. Parents talk about, pupils talk about it. It's a known thing. Pupils in younger year groups look forward to it in older year groups. And it's just sort of part of the ethos and the the life of the school and it's really really good to see it so well embedded and so supported not just by senior leadership and individual teachers but by the vast majority of the school community. I think peer mediation in school is important because it gives children the opportunity to talk with other children and their peers about issues that they might be having at school but also could be it could be at home or anywhere and often it's talking to peers that will help them resolve these problems. Children have a lot of worries, a lot of concerns. I think as time goes on that gets more apparent and more of a problem. It's definitely something that I didn't think of but I think the children um, really benefit from being aware of what's going on and being aware of what other people are dealing with and issues that are going on in friendship groups. I think it helps with their empathy, it helps them to mature and just become what quite well-rounded children really that aren't just focused on themselves. Peer mediators are basically um, kids at schools that help other kids resolve their conflict and disagreements. Because of mediation, the school is more calm and nobody says, I don't want to go to school because of that and that. We're here to help people. Once I had an argument with my best friend over like football and like the last year's year six has brought me and my friend into a room to sort it out and me and my friend uh, thought of an idea that we both agreed on and then it made everything better. I think that it made me want to be a peer mediator more because if, if you can just help two people in the world it'll make it a better place. I wanted to be a peer mediator because I like the idea of helping kids like normally younger than me, solving their own problems and sorting their problems out by themselves. I wanted to be a mediator because I wanted to help people and not cause conflict. I wanted to be a mediator so I could help other people solve their problems because, I, because I've been in an argument before and I know that it's not nice being in an argument and they're not being able to solve it. But if I could help some people solve their arguments, I think I'd like it. The skills it's given me is probably to listen more, understand and to keep it inside more. Because my teachers have told me day after day I'm really loud and I talk. But it's touched me to I have to listen, understand and even if I want to say something that could probably help them, I can't because that's not part of peer mediation. So it's taught me to more self-control. To be honest, I'm very shy to be asking people and helping people, but I've gotten better with mediation. The skills that peer mediating has given me are that it helps me solve my own problems. If like my friends get into an argument or a disagreement, I can sort of, as a friend, help them out solving their problem. If they've had a fallout, they're very adept at vocalising now what's happened, what's gone on, finding a solution to move forward. Or they're developing and have developed the ability to, to see that they may not reconcile their views, but they can move forward with that. They don't have to be in conflict because they have a different viewpoint. 
When I'm growing up, these skills could help if, like, there's an argument somewhere that I'm going, or, like, in a queue or something. I could um, use the skills to try and calm it down. The world needs more mediation because it's just so... It's just so helpful for people because I just think the world needs it for a greener, happier world. If there's conflict between football fans and or something over like their team losing or something, the game's already finished, so you can just you can't do much about it, and you just got to understand that it's all okay and it's only a game of football, and you can just forget about it. In the world is going to be a, a happy, jolly world um, if we have lots of mediators. Without it, it could lead to a lot more disagreements and arguments, which could lead um, to wars and fights everywhere. If people would listen and understand and find an agreement, these wars wouldn't happen. This conflict, this massive, massive conflict, wouldn't happen. I think the world needs more mediation because if a chip shop got into an argument with a fish shop then the peer mediator could come and say why didn't you just sell fish and chips? It really impresses me how committed, how responsible they are, how genuinely interested they are in helping other people. They're just determined every year, they really take on the responsibility. I just love that about them, they're really enthused by it. We'd like the message to go out that whether you're a child in a school or whether you're a teacher or a head teacher or a parent or a school governor, we have this model peer mediation that we know works, that we know empowers young people to be peacemakers and, and that makes schools safer places. So if you want that in your school community, then contact the Civil Mediation Council or organisations like Quakers in Britain or Crest or many others and you can find the resources, the training, the opportunities to, to really build that up and see the, the change it can make.